Hi Scorpio, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Scorpio, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Scorpio. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Nine of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. Okay, so this is an energy of, uh, I'm seeing someone here who is coming into a place of peace and acceptance. Um, this is somebody overcoming some sort of anxiety, no longer suffering in silence. Um, this could be somebody who was feeling very stressed out and anxious, but peace is definitely coming towards this person. Um, it's like answers are being filled. Um, this person is finally accepting things and it is allowing this person to really um, feel more um, tranquil about a situation. So let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this Scorpio. Okay, so the first card we have is the Wheel of Fortune and this is Fixed Sign Energy. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio Energy. Next we have the Death card. This is your energy Scorpio or you could be dealing with another Scorpio. And finally we have the Sun card, Leo Energy. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Okay, so I do see there is some sort of a turn in events, a very positive turn. Um, there is an end here to restlessness, to lack of peace. So um, I do see you finding out something that is really helping you to move forward. There is some good news coming towards you and it is, it's like it's setting you free. With the sun card, that is, you know, emotional fulfillment, that is feeling fulfilled in general. So it's also an energy of you getting answers there is this light that is shining here there is clarity and i do see this putting your mind at peace and um definitely it's like there is a shift in your mindset and you know with the wheel there and the death card there it's really helping you transform how things are are, are appearing to you and i do see you getting some sort of clarity or some sort of news that really gives you some sort of closure that makes it easier for you to you know come to this place of acceptance so there is definitely some sort of um you know peaceful energy coming your way so let's clarify these cards scorpio Okay, so at the bottom of the deck we have the Empress. Okay, so this is Venus energy, Libra, Taurus energy. Okay, so definitely you are, it's like this, whatever this um this turn of events, whatever you're finding out, this clarity, it's helping you to um, get back on your throne, to step back into this Empress energy. It's like you're seeing your worth, you're seeing who you are, and um, you are recognizing that um, it's like you're practicing self-care, self-love, um, and not putting yourself through any mental torture or emotional torture. Um, it's like you're, you're finally resting in this Empress energy. There is someone here who is seeing you as this beautiful empress and seeing you as this light um, I do see someone who sees you as a source of joy and um, really holding you in high regard with them viewing you as the empress this is them really thinking highly of you them really putting you on this pedestal having a lot of love for you seeing you as abundant and um, I do see them viewing you as the sun in their life so this person thinks about you a lot and they they really value you so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say about this um, Scorpio Okay, so the first card we have is the Two of Cups. Okay, so this is Water Energy. Next, we have the Seven of Swords, Air Energy. And finally, we have the Four of Cups, Water Energy. 
Okay, so with the Two of Cups showing up there, I do see it's like the universe with the uh, wheel energy here. It's like the universe is really blessing you with this union. Um, this is definitely somebody who who, who does think highly of you. Um, there is a transformation in this um, connection. It's like you're stepping away from that, that phase in the union where you're constantly feeling anxious, feeling unsure, not knowing how the other person thinks or feels or, you know, there's this sense of feeling on edge. And with the Nine of Swords being in the reverse, it's like you're stepping out of that and you're getting this clarity. You're starting to find out how this person truly feels about you. Um, you're, you're knowing that this person actually sees you in this high regard of this empress energy and that there is actually love directed from this person to you and this person is being more um truthful about this they are opening up about this um because we do see with the seven of swords this could be someone who may have you know kept their feelings um a little bit secretive or kept them very controlled um, there was a bit of a calculated energy about this and this could have been something that made you feel a bit anxious you may have been under the impression that this person cared a little less than you um, than they really did and I, I do see you getting truth here with this um, energy and it's definitely helping you to let go of those anxieties so you are definitely coming to find that this is someone who actually does see you as you know you know a serious contender and with the the death card there that is really causing a transformation so i am seeing you know this this energy is more like you guys are coming into union so you guys may be taking this into um, the next level progressing it to a serious commitment or um, a relationship there is just that um that that phase where you guys both um, admit feelings towards each other so it's like this is a truth being spoken on that emotional level and it's giving you clarity and it's um I, I do see it making you feel very good um and helping you to feel less anxious okay so i'm going to pull out an oracle card for you scorpio okay so the card says a personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay, so I do see this as you finally getting that clarity that really does help this connection to blossom a lot more. Things are starting to move forward better. Um, this is definitely, um, you know, a very valuable connection actually. Um, and I do see this person is opening up and this is definitely putting you in that, in a better state. So I do see that that whatever that anxiety is, it's being resolved. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you, um, Scorpio. Okay, so the card says engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Okay, so definitely I do see um, you guys are taking that next step. You guys are getting that clarity. You guys are starting to feel more hopeful about this connection. There is a progression in this energy. So you guys are definitely, this connection, it's coming out of that beginning phase where you don't know where things are going or, you know, there's those doubts. All of those are being allevi alleviated here. And um, there is a forward movement to the next level. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Scorpio. Okay, so the card says white rose, new start and wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Okay, so definitely there is this energy of hopefulness, optimism with the sun card there and a new beginning in love. Um, so I do see also a very transformative energy. You are also learning a lot about yourself. And um, I do see the opportunity here for a new beginning here in this love. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Scorpio. I hope you have a really, really good day, Scorpio. Bye, Scorpio.